quite right. Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we always like to start off with call Halal Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakadash. Double honors and salutations out to the elders, apostles, great millstone who taught us his truth and ruled well. The water, the water, the water through your diligence through all these years, you are definitely worthy of double honors. And salutations out to the elect, the 144,000, the Bayat al Dad, as well as the room of one third that have been um, blessed with the gift of the Wa, which is the mark of exemption, uh, pursuant to Ezekiel 9 and 4. Keep pushing, we are almost out of this thing. All right. Now, um, this. Uh, um, lesson we're going to go into here um, is basically just uh, a lot of uh, um, in the news you know, a new segment that I'm doing on my channel is called um, channel channel 144 happening now All right, as we can see there are a lot of um, uh, the plagues are, of Yahweh Shemi Asha are sweeping the nation actually sweeping the world uh, chiefly here in Babylon alright so um, just to kick it off I'm going to go ahead and start off with uh, this is 2nd Edris 16 to 14 behold the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they consume upon the earth. The <clears throat> fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consumes the foundations of the earth, like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer and returneth not backwards. Even so, the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. All right, and these are the times that we're in right now. As you can see, the plagues are consuming the earth. There's so many things that are going on right now as the prophecies are falling off the pages of the book. All right, so those of you who are, you know, who have eyes to see and ears to hear, for a few aqua that tune in, for the brothers that, uh, you know, the Akim that tune in and watch, you know, stand sober, you know what I mean, um, you know, stand diligent in this thing, you know, we are at the latter end of this thing right now, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and as the scripture says, um, in the end they shall speak, all right, and not lie, though a tarry, wait for it, all right, so all of these prophecies right now are coming into fruition, all right, they're being made manifest right now, all right, because we are in that latter end time, man. Right? And these things, these things aren't going to slack. Okay, it's only going to escalate. It's only going to continue. And that scripture says we are entering into the beginning of sorrows. You know, so these are the times that we're in right now. Yep. yep. All right. You got some. You want to go ahead? Come on, come on. Yeah, because I had a, a few articles. Uh, oh, sure. We can actually start. Uh, let's see. I mean, like the brothers going into the place. You know, they're drawing nigh and are not slack. At the end of the day, this this uh, every time the Israelites were delivered out of a particular captivity, uh, the the pretty much the downfall of an empire was synonymous with our deliverance. You see, so America being no different, America Babylon the Great. All right, before this second Exodus takes place. All right, the you know there's many different woes and pestilences that have to come upon the earth, man. Particularly here in this land. All right, but. But really, that's just the whole face of the earth has to be covered with plagues and pestilences, just like with Egypt. You see, because the Lord sent plagues upon Egypt, you know, he sent uh, hail, uh, uh, you know, uh, different uh, insects and plagues and things of that nature. And we're seeing those very things today, man. So the thing that has been is that which shall be. And there is no new thing under the sun, man. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. But I had an article real quick. Um, This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 32, verse 18. It says, Son of man, well for the multitude of, of Egypt, and cast them down, even her and her daughters of the famous nation uh, unto the uh, nether parts of the earth uh, with them that go down into the pit. You know, because with all this uh, hell, you know, and, and, and fire, it's about to rain upon Babylon the Great, you know, and upon these uh, other other nations, you know, it's, it's, it's all the will of Yahweh by Shemel you know, and and it's really be beautiful to see, all right, because uh, what's that scripture? It says, "Blessed is your eyes for they see, you know, and your ears for they hear," all right, because Yahweh by Shemel has set all this up for our de deliverance out of Babylon the Great, but. You got it. Come on, bro. I, I couldn't find that article, man. Um, 
there's a particular article that I was looking for. You take your time. I'm gonna. Um, I got a priest up here as well. Um, it's like the brother for you can put. You know, I mean, when you go into the scriptures and you understand that, you know, um, America is likened to to, to 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 Babylon, what's called spiritually uh, Sodom and Egypt. All right, because all the same sexual perversions, along with the idolatry, and the a lot of same wickedness, has just been basically carried on to this kingdom, this last kingdom here. All right, this is Second Ezra 15 and 10. Behold, my people is led to the flock, uh, is led as a flock to the slaughter, and that's exactly that's just chiefly starting with the elect. All right, we've been brought in <clears throat> captivity. All right, to Babylon the Great, which is like in Egypt. Okay, um, and we've been led to the flock uh, to the slaughter. All right, the Esau Edom. You know, chiefly you saw Edom uh, amongst with the uh, uh, rest of the nations here. You know, this has been nothing but hell for us ever since we were brought off from slave ships, okay, and brought to this, uh, uh, brought to this wicked place. All right, and it says, "I will not suffer them. Uh, I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before." Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you know when you go into the scriptures, you know the Heavenly Father, we didn't go back into the land of Egypt and do that whole plague all over again. No, this is talking about America. Okay, so the same plagues, the same ancient plagues that went on in Egypt are happening right now again today in real time, <clears throat> man. These things are unfolding. We got food famines. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got fires across the, across, across the earth. We got uh, pestilence that are kicking off. Okay, the, the Heavenly Father is here, man, and he's making his wonders um, and these plagues uh, 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 manifest within the earth, man. All right? And just like the brother from beautifully put, you know, whenever Heavenly Father does come, the one of the first things he does, he sends out his prophets, all right, to warn you, Jake. Mm -hmm. All right? Chiefly the elect, because two-thirds of our people are, are ordained to not wake up. All right. all right? So we are out here to warn the lost sheep so we can gather in that number so we can get out of here, man, because the Heavenly Father is going to do a miraculous work in the earth. All right? Yeah, it's... Oh, so like, Bible Kishore, you got it. Well, I was just going to say, because you mentioned the plagues, and, you know, we know that the livestock uh, was hit during the time of Egypt. Yep. You know, I remember a few weeks ago seeing a, a clip of a farmer uh, pretty much recording all this dead cattle that he had mm -hmm. just laid out, like mm -hmm. thousands of, mm -hmm. thousands of cattle that he had. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's huge. Mm -hmm. But even right now, there's a particular drought that's going on here in the, in the, in the West, Midwest of yeah. America. Even over there in uh, Europe, there's a drought going on. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a potato sh shortage in Idaho. You know, they're getting hit. Like, that's affecting, like, because Idaho is what? The potato state. Yeah. <laughs> they make the, 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 pretty much produce the, the uh, I forget the exact percentage, but like uh, the vast majority of potatoes uh, mm -hmm. for, for America. Mm -hmm. You see? So everything is being hit in one way or another, man. And then you got all this going on with the uh, 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 economic uh, world Economic Forum. You got all this going on with uh, even just the economy within itself. Right. The dollar's about to crash, man. Yep. Right. All these things are coming into fruition for what? For the day of the Lord to come. That's right, bro. But, but pretty much, you know, this devil, he's doing all these things on purpose because he has to come down with great wrath because what? He know it that he had but a short time. Yep. You see? Yep. So I got a, I got an article, if I may. Um, this is from uh, FB.org. Right, it says, New AFBF survey shows droughts increasing toll on farmers and ranches ranchers all right this was from august 14th which was five days ago it says with over 60 percent of the american west southwest and central plains categorized as d3 severe which is pretty much Ooh. severe drought or higher mm. afbf conducted a third round of its survey to ele uh, to evaluate droughts continued impact on farm and ranch businesses now this jumps down it says the 17 states including the north of texas up, which is where we are, where it says, mm -hmm. up along the central plains to North Dakota and west to California are vital to the U.S. agriculture sector. So you think about that, like, bro, something that's vital is extremely important, and that's yep. getting hit. Like, this is this is your main, like, imagine you got a main, you got multiple sources of income, but you got a main source of income, which brings in 80 to 90 percent of your revenue, and that's getting hit. Yep. Now you're not making that, now that's no longer there, bro, that's, that's, that's vital. That's uh, essential. Yeah. Right. But it says what it says. It says uh, supporting. What's the lock? It says uh, the 17 states, including the north of Texas, up along the central plains to North Dakota, and west to California, are vital to the U.S. agriculture sector, supporting nearly half of the nation's 364 billion dollar production by value. This includes 74 percent of beef cattle, mm. for 18 percent of the agriculture culture. Uh, agricultural production by value 
50% of dairy production. You see, responsible for, in total, 11% of U.S. agriculture production, production by value and over 80% of wheat production by value. And then we know that Biden put the sanctions on, on uh, uh, Russia, yep. mm-hmm. right. you know? Mm-hmm. Yep. Which is, which is the um, uh, bread basket of, of, uh, of uh, Europe, mm-hmm. which, which produces like 35 to 40% of, of uh, all, all grain. Mm-hmm. And that was for the world. Yeah. So that's huge, bro. That's huge. You know? yeah. But the thing is, and I did, did a lesson on this, like the things that are taking place right now are going to affect us in the coming year. That's right. Yeah. I did a lesson entitled that 2023 is going to be a hell of a year, man. Yeah. And we see these like people, people think they hear these things and they see these different news articles and they think it's a game. Mm-hmm. But when it's actually at your front door, when it's actually at your grocery store or the mm-hmm. lack thereof mm-hmm. is not at your grocery store, when things are actually coming to, 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 to the, your front door like that, they gonna realize that it was not a game, man. That there have been a profit among them, right? You see, come. And if I may add, see, what you have to understand too is that you know, you it, it goes, uh, um, you know, it's usually like push like a year ahead. So the food that you see and the food shortages that you see on the shelf right now, this is for all the harvesting for last year, mm-hmm. okay, and everything that they gathered for last year. Yep. So you go in these stores now, and, and I know because I work in the food industry. You know, there was a time when we had one aisle that was just full. You go right now to Tom Thumb, they had an aisle, the, the left side of the aisle was half the aisle was full of just chips. Now there's only a quarter of that same aisle, mm-hmm. you know, filled with chips and they just kind of spread everything out. I did an article, uh, a lesson not too long ago too, where now a lot of stores are putting cardboard cutouts <laughs> on the shelves oh, yeah, yeah. and stickers and Damn, stuff on man. the beverage, on the beverage uh, uh, coolers, mm-hmm. you know, just to make this, you know, um, to make it look as if it's full. Right. Um, and so, like I said, so so the things that we are, the food shortages that you're experiencing now was from the harvest of last year. So how much more this year, you know, that the food shortages, you know, for next year, it's, we're coming into that great food famine, man. Mm-hmm. And there's an article, I actually, just kind of, I wanted to pull the, um, uh, uh, um, just to kind of the header, because it kind of goes into what you said. And it says, um, uh, this is the reflection of the global, uh, global food security challenges amid the war in Ukraine and the early impact on climate change. And it says uh, the C-19 pandemic uh, supply chain strains, climate events, these disruptions have already pushing food prices up with Russia invading Ukraine in late February, today's war on one of the world's six breadbasket regions. Mm. Okay, now when, like I said, when you go into uh, to, uh, um, the history, you know, in Egypt, you know, when the Heavenly Father, he smite the cattle, you know what I mean? It, the, the, that was the breadbasket then, okay? You know, all the food supply, the supply chain was being broken down. So as we know, as Ecclesiastes says, what was then as shall be. Mm-hmm. There's no new thing under the sun. So this is all repeating itself right now, man. Mm-hmm. And we're coming into those great times, that great tribulation, man. All right? Food is going to be so, it's, it's, it's going to be obsolete, you know? You know, they have people out here that are, you know, you know, you got uh, uh, hoarders. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. trying to stack up food. But at the end of the day, man, if you hop out, you know, is not with you. You are done, man. There ain't nothing you can do to get out of uh, these plagues that are that are coming onto the earth, man. Yeah, All bro, right? you, you, you got to imagine that when you imagine, you got to imagine an individual when he goes to the store and there's a, a, a large um, selection mm-hmm. of a particular item. Well, it's not anything to worry about. But when you go to the grocery store and there's only one there, and you looking at the other individual that's looking at the same pack of meat like you, <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a little bit of uh, unverbal or uh, unwritten tension right mm-hmm. there, you see? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So imagine when things are really desolate, when things really begin to uh, hit, you know? It's going to be it's gonna be exactly like that. It's going to be every man for himself. Um, the scripture talks about uh, iniquity abounding, the love of many wax and cold, these... Like, bro, it's, it's going to be exactly like that because the Lord, prophecy all right, is a testimony of Yahweh Shai. And when prophecy is being fulfilled, well, that's that's what the Lord came to do exactly is what? To bring division, to, right, to, right. to, to set uh, Egyptian a, against Egyptian. Matter of fact, if we could grab that, it was that second address. Uh, oh, no, that's Isaiah. Egyptian against Egyptian. God. Let me see. I've got it. But even in Second Ezra, it talks about um, the sedition among men. God, as a matter of fact, that was, I, 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 mm-hmm. I um, was, was actually going into that here, uh, too, for this precept. But this is Second Ezra 15 and 12. Um, I believe it's in the um, 
same chapter, Egypt shall mourn and the foundations of it shall be smitten with the plagues and punishment of God shall, that God shall bring upon it. And they shall till the ground and shall mourn for their seed shall fail through the blasting and hail and with fearful constellation. And like the brother just beautifully said, you know, you got all these farmers that have come out now and, um, you know, you have, uh, what is it? I think it's Angus beef. They're no longer taking these certain beefs. The government is basically denying them, telling them, no, we're not taking this kind of meat. You know, they're paying certain farmers to burn their crops, to burn their harvest. Okay, so the things that they, you know, and they got a lot of actual farmers coming out and say, look, man, we, we kind of basically just pulling out of the game. We have enough yeah. for our family, yeah. and that's it. Yeah. We, don't, we don't have anything else for anybody else. That's crazy, bro. Right. Can you imagine that? That's huge. And that's beautiful, though. Yeah. You know, call hello and let you how about me out shot. Did you got that precept that he had asked for? I got it. I got it right here. It's lock here. So, yeah, these are the times we're in right now, man. You know, this great famine is coming across the whole world. Come, come. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 19. I'm going to start from the top. It says, the burden of Egypt, mm. you see. And again, this is uh, Revelation 11 and 8. Yep. This is this is spiritual Sodom and Egypt, man. That's, that's, that's a huge part of this uh, understanding that, that you need to receive, man. That America is spit spiritually Babylon, spiritually Sodom, spiritually Egypt. It is Babylon the Great. That's, that's right. right. You see? It's, it's, not, one. it's, it's no longer a mystery. It's a conglomeration of all the wicked nations before it. That's uh, right. You yeah. see? And that's why they even uphold particular uh, uh, ideologies. ideologies and uh, they still uphold... Uh, Sacrificial and ritualistic yep. practices that, yep. that were done in, in old man. Yep. Again, we keep bringing it out. Ecclesiastes one and nine. There is no new thing under the sun, man. You see? Yep. So it says uh, Isaiah nineteen and one: The burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt. You know, it even talks about in Isaiah thirty one that, that as birds flying, so shall the Lord. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So shall the son of man be. That's right. And it says in passing over, He will preserve it. When you go into that word passing over, yeah. Pesach. You see, because the second exodus is, is going to take place again. Man. That's right. You see, so it says, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it, man, because pretty much all the mirth, everything like all, everything that these people look to as, 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 uh, you know, what is, mm -hmm. it's essentially going to be brought down to not in that day. They're going to be calling upon Allah. They're going to mm -hmm. be calling upon uh, mm -hmm. whatever deity they call upon and mm -hmm. it's not going to matter of fact even in Judges 10 and 14 if I'm not mistaken it says something along those lines go and call on, on the gods that you refer to I was to, just man. thinking that the, the, that's what the Lord said you, yep. wanna, you don't want to call on, on, on me and my true name and my true essence we'll call upon uh, uh, those those gods in which you were bowing to yep. you see they're not going to see if they protect you in that day yep. you see but here's the point it says and I will set Egyptian or I will set the Egyptians mm -hmm. against the Egyptians and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. And we already see through the democratic and republican system, we already see through mm -hmm. you got uh, rightist, leftist, conservative, this, that, and the third. Like You, you already see the division is here, mm -hmm. right? But it's a matter of time before, I mean, you, you see people's bumper stickers and yeah. what they put, they, people, uh, I seen one bumper sticker at, outside of my gym, uh, I believe it was yesterday or the day before. It said, Joe and the whole got to go. <laughs> Talking about Joe Biden, and wow, Joe you, and the whole gotta go. So people are people are already in the mindset of like, yo, I'm not with these people. Yeah, we're we're, we're supposed to be Americans, fellow citizens, but the Lord is coming with that spirit of division again to set Egyptian against Egyptian. Man. That's right. You see, That's and right. it's gonna inevitably be, not just be a, a mental like, oh, oh, I'm not with these people. I'm not for them. I don't like them. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be physical, man. When mm -hmm. they, when there's a lack of bread, mm -hmm. you see. Mm -hmm. I got a precept if, 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 if you're done with that one. God, I'm done. Bro. All right, uh, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 40, verse 2. Uh, um, the points in verse 5. It says, their imaginations of, of, of things to come and the, the day of death troubled their their thoughts and caused fear of, of heart. Because right now, with, with all this going on, you know, uh, the imaginations of these people are, are that they're un, un, uneasy, mm -hmm. you know, they're about to wig out, mm -hmm. all right? Yeah. Uh, well, if I could add, because the Lord created, like it says in Sirach 39, the uh, Lord's spirit for, for vengeance. Yep. Spirit for vengeance. And uh, then it says, when the Lord sends them, in verse 31, I believe, that, we, that they shall yep. accomplish what, yep. uh, they shall be rejoicing His yeah, commandment. Not and transgress. And not transgress. So yeah, right, not transgress. all these spirits are created and they're hopping on individuals to enact these particular wicked things and have yep. these thoughts and yep. to bug out, uh -huh. essentially. 
It's all for prophecy. You know, <laughs> like that um, uh, concert with that Jake mm -hmm. and with all those demons that were uh, uh, jumping Scott. on those people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's, it's the same thing like the um, a, 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 a B uh, um, walk or whatever that they did. That they, they had demons jumping on them as, mm -hmm. as well. Yep. Uh, and right. just to add to that too, and we know a lot of this has a lot to do with also that sermon. You know, they're opening the CERN up, so there's a lot of that, you know what I mean? You know, and it's still open right now. Yeah. Okay, so with that, you have, you're just seeing a lot of really wicked bug out stuff that's happening. We're down, you know, on the highways and hedges downtown here in Dallas. You know, we're seeing bug out on all time high, man, right now. You know, these spirits, yeah, these spirits right now are just, you know, they're, they're, they're running wild. Well, they're doing what, you know, like, this, like the brother beautifully put, you know, these things appease the Heavenly Father, man. When they go out here and they, and they accomplish what they've been commanded to accomplish, you know, these things appease, you know, they know they appease the Heavenly Father. So they line up, these spirits raising their hand, man. Let me go out here and let me handle, do your work and do your business. It's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, because it's, 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 somebody can, I'm going to say, bro, because um, it says in Romans that all creation groaneth. Like, so even the, even the angels, bro, the spirits, the ministering spirits, they're, they're longing for Yahweh Shai's kingdom to be established mm -hmm. as well, man. The earnest right. expectation of the creature. That's right. it. Gone. All right, so uh, back in Ecclesiastes chapter 40, I'm just going to read this through real quick. It says, from, from him that sits on the throne of, of, of glory unto him that sitteth uh, and humble in earth and ashes. All right, so, so it's going down the laundry list uh, from the high all the way down to the uh, lowly of, of, of people. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, continuing on, it says, from him that weareth purple and, and, and a crown unto him that is clothed with uh, linen frock. It says, wrath and envy, uh, trouble, trouble and um, un unquietness, fear of death and, and anger and strife and in the time of, uh, of rest upon his bed, uh, his night's sleep doeth change his, his, uh, his uh, knowledge. All right, because as they're all going through all this hell, they're still trying to figure out what, what should I do? How should I conduct myself? How should I be? You know, and it, it, it changes their, their mindset. But a man like how about Shemir is going to stand firm. That's right. He's going to stand firm on the rock, which is which is salvation is set upon. Okay. All right. That's right, bro. And we already been in the spirit of fasting and everything like that, too. These people, they've never fasted a day in their life. Mm -hmm. They've never went six hours without a meal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes down to it, they, bro. They gonna feel it. Yep. They gonna feel that. I actually, my bad. I actually, in Isaiah nineteen, I did want to get verse three as well. It's like, no, no, you're good, bro. I realized he was already reading the precepts, so it's all good. Uh, this is Isaiah nineteen and three. All right, it says, and the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, mm. and I will destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall seek to the idols <laughs> and to the charmers <laughs> and to them that have familiar spirits. And to the wizards, so they're gonna, you know, they're gonna be looking to those deities. They're gonna be looking to Jesus Christ. They're gonna be looking to, you know, who they call God, but they don't know Yahweh Shemuel Shai, man. Mm -hmm. Just like it says in Matthew seven, I believe that when Yahweh Shai comes back, he's gonna turn and look to that individual, like I know you not. Depart from yep. me, you wicked uh, 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 workers of iniquity, man. You see? Yep. So it's no different. So these, all these things coming to fruition, the the, the plagues and the, the pestilence and the the mindsets of the people is all for the sake of prophecy to come to pass, man. That's right. And they, and these devils, are, they know exactly what they're doing. That's why the scripture says, um, uh, hide me from, from thy sword, yeah. the wicked. Mm -hmm. Because even you went into CERN, because mm -hmm. a sword ain't just got to be physical. No. no, that's a weapon too. Mm -hmm. We can be, the, the Lord, if the Lord didn't want us, the Lord can make us subject into those those very uh, deities as well, man. Those yep. spirits. Yep. You see? Yep. So that's, these are, all these things coming to pass are just further... A reminder that we need to evaluate ourselves and hey, make sure we're staying in the spirit and fearing you. How about sitting outside, bro? Because we could be subject to these things as well. The Lord That's don't right. need us, man. Mm -mm. You see? He sure up uh, uh, stones. Yeah, exactly. You know? Just like I was saying earlier today in my in my lesson. You know, I did a lesson, a uh, uh, pick three to edify thee, and the topic of the lesson was level up. Mm -hmm. You know, because you're in this thing, man. And it just was this was going out even for those of us who say we're in the truth, man. All right, we're in a time of great judgment right now. As the scripture says, the Lord loveth judgment, man. Mm -hmm. We're in a crime, time of great judgment right now. So whatever whatever it is, whether your family, your girl, your job, whatever, you know, you have to separate. And I don't mean leave your family, 
but you have to get away from certain situations. That's why having a body is so important. That's right. You know, to have those spiritual conversations. Brothers want to talk about, you know, and 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 and, and scoff on camps and stuff like that. Well, Yahweh Shah had a camp. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, the twelve disciples were a camp. Okay. So you need your brothers in this thing, man. You know what I mean? To be around uh, like-minded individuals that you're right. able to pull through this thing, man. Because we get weak in this flesh from time to time. And this is the fight, you know. Having to deal with these demons on a daily, man. Having to fight this flesh, man. That we may be seen worthy, man. That, you know, when Yahweh shall come, we were without spot or blemish on our garments, man. That's right. You know? You see all these things that are going on. There was, a, um, I think there was a 7,500 new cases of the Donkey Kong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that are spreading across the U.S. right now. They found wow. a new case of polio, okay, out in uh, 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 Rockland, New York, okay. So all of these, all of these uh, uh, pestilence are coming are coming onto the earth, man. Like they seem to be coming out of New York. Yeah, too. Gone, New York. the capital. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which is, and like I said, there's no such thing as coincidence, man. Mm -hmm. You know, in this thing, I got a precept I want to pull here real quick. This is <clears> Isaiah 24. I uh, will start at eight. The mirth of the tabrets cease, and the noise of them that rejoice. End it in the joy of the harp seat. Now, all these things are likened to a good time. Okay, so the mirth, the joy, the kicking it to going out. You know, you can go back, you know, 15, 20 years, America was kind of lit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, concerts, you know, football, Super Bowls, yeah. you know, all this stuff going on. You don't hear about any of that anymore, man. Yeah. You know, all this stuff, you know, the, the, the pride of this place is being brought down. It goes on to say, they shall drink wine with strong drink and they shall be bitter to them that drink it right because normally when you drink wine you know it's 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 when you're festive right that you're having a good time you have a very merry time people are out kicking it but right now in these latter end times that we're in people drink wine to get away you know to escape from the plagues that are coming on to all of these hardships that our people are starting to you know to have to deal with and this thing is only going to turn up all right and it says the city of confusion shall be broken down and that's what america is Okay, when you read the City of Confusion, it's talking about Babylon the Great here. Okay, and it's being broken down as we speak. And every house is shut up that no man may enter. And there's a cry for wine in the streets, and all joy be darkened, and the mirth of the land is gone. Right. And that word wine there goes into two part, you know, because, the, the you know, wine is also likened to, you know, you want answers. Okay, people are looking for answers, because what answers do? They When, when you have answers to a, to, a, to, a, to a problem, it brings ease onto you. You know, you can actually relax, like, whew. Okay, all right, that makes sense. There's a cry for this wine in the streets, man, because also, you know, and, and this is what we, you know, we, 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 we hasten, you know, is the famine of the word. When we go on the, the new chief place of concourse, which is YouTube, and all of our channels are cut off, you know, and they really shut this thing down. You know what that means? That means the full number has been, has been sealed, man. And it's time for us to get out of here, man. All right? So these are the times that we're in. You got something you want to say? Yeah, Tony, I just wanted to go in on the on the point uh, with you saying uh, um, how uh, the body is supposed to be with the body. Mm -hmm. You know, so so this is Sirach chapter thirty-seven, verse twelve. It says, "But be ye continually with a godly man, whom whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of Yahweh by Shemel All right, it says, "Whose mind is according to thy mind, mm -hmm. and will sorrow." Uh, with thee, if thou shalt miscarry. So if you shall slip and fall, he's going to be there right with you to help lift you back up, to put you back on the the, the path to for for y'all to keep walking. Which that path is, yeah. How about Shemiah and Shai bringing us uh, uh, in, into the kingdom? Gosh. Okay, uh, the, 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 a little bit more. It says, uh, uh, it says, and and let uh, the counsel of thy own heart stand. For there is uh, no man more faithful unto thee than it, because mm -hmm. that's how about Shimei Al Shai and supping with you, all right? Mm -hmm. And 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 just like the Most High supping with you, the Most High is supping with that man that picked you up or that group of men that picked you up. Because here at GMS, we have a body. We call Hello and like how about Shimei Al Shai for that, mm -hmm. okay? But I'm, I'm just going to drop down to the point. Um, uh, so like it, verse 15, it says, And above all this, pray to Yahweh by Shemiel Shai that he will direct thy way in truth. All right? So as as, as we are walking in, in this uh, society, like um, Psalms 23, the valley of the shadow of death, all right, well, uh, 
we have righteous men that walk according to the scriptures, just like you try your best to do so. Okay, and and in that they will help lift you up as the uh, uh, um, one at the time that you slip. You know, yes. so hey, call for love and lay how about shimmy out shy for that. You know, mm-hmm. because this is a constellation <laughs> too. All right, or this is a part of the main prize. So like it. No, no, you're good. Yeah, I can land back because even Yahweh Shai said, um, you know, that the, whoever shall do the will of my father, which is in heaven, the same as my brother and my sister. So this is a spiritual family reunion at the end of the day, man. That's right. You know, we introduced. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> kind of, kind of. Yeah, this is a spiritual family reunion at the end of the day, man. And these people of the world, as they're uh, continually getting worse and worse, even the, the is, these different Israelite camps, uh, the House of Saul, God, waxing God. worse and worse, uh, two thirds. You know, all these people out here, they're getting worse. You know, the scripture talks about um, to cleave unto him that is like you, man. That's right. You know, so I, you know, because pretty much going back to the point, all these plagues are coming about, man. Mm-hmm. All these different things are coming about, man. These are like, bro, it's only going to get worse from here on out. Mm-hmm. So we need to be tighter and move more as a unit now, more so than ever. God. I got a quick precept. This is Ezekiel 14 and 15, or 13, I'll bet. It says, Son of man, when the land sinneth against me by trespassing grievously, which we were talking about it before we recorded, uh, the elder um, uh, Karatazai out there in uh, Las Vegas had did a lesson going into pretty much how in Germany they're, they're um, you know, I, don't, I forget the word, but they're pretty much like protesting for zoophilia, man, which is pretty much <laughs> sex with animals, and, oh, like all man. type of, you know, Manner, I mean, they were already, you know, you got different individuals uh, as well throughout the world that are pretty much fighting for pedophilia and things of that nature as well. So all these things are here, bro. Like the land is sinning in Grand Sierra by Shemel Shai grievously, as we just read, man. So because of that, it says what? Then will I stretch out my hand upon it and will break the staff of the bread thereof and will send famine upon it and will cut off man and beast from it. And when... You know, essentially, when the world gets to a state like that, or a particular land that the Heavenly Father plays gets to a state such as being without bread, such as being without jobs, because it talks about that in um, Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, God, that the grinders cease. Yeah. Bro, they, they, they continually put out this, these, these, uh, uh, this misrepresentation that, oh, there's, we're, we're going to have uh, create this to make more jobs, more jobs. But the people are losing jobs left and right, man. Yep. Yep. You know, there's a lot of deception out here via the mainstream media, and that's part of the sor- sorcery of Esau Edom. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's their tongue. Mm-hmm. You know, it's the tongue, they, yeah. They wet it, their, their, their tongue yep. like sharpen a sword. It, yep. mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah, they mm-hmm. sharpen their tongue, man. They're, they're in their, <laughs> though their words were smoother than butter, yet was war in their heart. That's correct. They're, they have a problem with this message, man. And that's why all this thing is coming to fruition, because starting with Abba Bivens, all right, the, the elder high priests and the, and the apostles of today down to even us younger brothers man bro this this message is is totally uh, annihilating this kingdom through the spirit as it says in second thessalonians 2 that the spirit of, uh, of, of the, the the mouth of the lord will consume it man mm-hmm. loosely paraphrasing mm-hmm. man. consuming fire consuming mm-hmm. fire man you know, and um not to go too deep in it you know it says but the house of uh, uh jacob shall be a flame and the house, mm. house of esau uh, sh- Shall be for stubble. That's right. Mm-hmm. All right. That's right. So through the spirit and prayer, how about Shimei and Shai? He's he, he's he's slowly putting his plan into fruition. Mm-hmm. But okay. what he don't realize is that his plan is for his downfall. That's, That's right. right. He think it's gonna save him. Mm-hmm. Well, no, nah, I, I was I was talking about yeah, yeah. How about Shimei? Oh, okay, so, okay. I, you know, I was talking about you. Nah, yeah, yeah, too, <laughs> nah, nah, yeah. How about Shimei and Shai? Is slowly putting his plan into fruition mm-hmm. because he's trying to make it to where his people are are being. Egg, 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 exalted again. Mm-hmm. All right, he wants to put us back on top. So if, if we're on top, the pendulum is going to be back right side up. So right. Esau is going to be on the bottom, regardless. Right. All right, yeah. and yes, his he is falling, mm-hmm. and, and he's falling so greatly, and it's so beautiful to watch. That's why I said earlier, man, it's, it's a beautiful thing to see a downfall of your of, of your enemies. I think mm-hmm. that's a Sirach twenty five. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. Call for way how about you, you got it, so lucky. You know? God, nah, you're good, bro. You're good, man. It's it's beautiful, man, because you know, like like well, I thought you was talking about Esau, the uh, pretty much this devil's putting up scrambling, putting together this plan, trying to yep. trying to enforce it, but he doesn't realize he's 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 pretty much walking towards the edge of the cliff, like he yep. about to 
fall off, man. Commit God. suicide. Like it's it's over for you. God. You see? God. It's like the um in that movie three hundred. Yeah. When, yeah. They, when they was coming yeah. with the shields said, and then they pushed yeah, them. He said, it's like they need a bath yeah. or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's that, give yeah. them something to yeah. drink. Yeah, that's yeah. what it was. Yeah. 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 God, I got a precept. God. And, it kind of, and it's beautiful, just like you said, you know, um, you know, because all essentially what he's doing is he's setting up that enterprise. God. Okay, like the scripture says, he will not enjoy the brooks of honey. And, 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 and you know, he's setting, he's setting up his, his, his whole new enterprise thinking you know, and it's all, it's all, this is all vain imagination of the heathen, oh, you know, that this is going into, because this is the times we're coming into, we're coming into that new world order, we're coming to the reset of the financial system, okay, so all these things are being made manifest, um, um, and this is what he's trying to do, um, and essentially he's also trying to escape judgment, <laughs> okay, because as, as uh, Revelation lets it be known that the devil's going to be coming down with that great wrath, mm -hmm. because he knows that he has a short time, we're in the latter end, okay, of that little season that was spoken about in Revelation 20, Right. Right. Um, now, this here is uh, 2 Thessalonians. I just want to pull it because it's beautiful. Uh -huh. What you said, 2 Thessalonians 2, and I will start at 7. The mystery of iniquity doth already work. Yeah. Only he who now letteth will yeah. let until he be taken out of the way. Now, the mystery of iniquity is Esau Edom. See, because there was a time when we didn't, no one knew who who, 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 who the wicked was. Right. You know, the script, like the Heavenly Father, he said that the, the, uh, the devil transformed himself into an angel of light. Right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, these are the people that the, the whole world has marveled themselves after. So this the mystery of iniquity have already been working, man. And it goes to say, only he who let will continually let roughly prayer for us until he be taken out of the way. Who's letting this happen? Yahab Bashim Yahusha. Mm -hmm. Okay, because they have a certain amount of iniquity to fulfill. Whenever kingdoms, all throughout the kingdoms of the earth, man, there was a certain amount of iniquity that had to be fulfilled. I think, what's the chapter where you talk about the Canaanites' iniquities have not been fully fulfilled yet? Uh, I can't pull that right off the top of my head, but roughly paraphrasing. Uh, uh, each kingdom has a certain amount of iniquities to fulfill before the Heavenly Father brings on that wrath. Okay, and America is no different. Okay, and we're at the latter end of that thing. And it says, Then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord will consume with the spirit of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. And that's exactly what the, uh, the, uh, uh, the beautiful brother said. You know, it starts with this word. Okay, consuming him, tearing down the strongholds of Esau Edom. Tearing out all of these lies and all of these deceptions through the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, man. All right? And this is what you see happening right here. This is why the famine of the word is coming. This is why they're passing laws about conspiracy theorists, mm -hmm. all right, to go ahead and muffle and, and uh, 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 g put a gag order, basically, on the men of the Lord. That's right. Which will soon follow persecution will follow after that, you know? But that, that's what it tells you. that um, You made mention of that Revelation 12 and 12. Mm -hmm. I think, like, verse 11, it goes into the accuser of our brethren. Cast be down. cast down, yep. you know, which accuse them before our Lord day and night. Yep. Because they pretty much, you know, when you go into that word accuser, it goes into the Greek word categoreo. That's right. Which mm -hmm. makes you think of category. They're pretty mm -hmm. much going to put you in a box mm -hmm. trying to label you something. We mm -hmm. was bringing out, you know, we before we got recording, we was bringing out the less, uh, the articles going yep. into how, you know, the whole situation with Alex Jones. Yep. How the UN is declaring uh, pretty much, uh, let me see, I'll just grab it real quick. Uh, the UN is... Uh, it says the this is from newspunch.com. It says UN declares war on dangerous conspiracy theories. Mm. Right? And that's pretty that's war? pretty much just the war on truth because you know what they come with is is lies and deceit and they want to implement their way and what they think, you know, what what pretty much their way, right? Mm -hmm. But pretty much there's a war on truth right now right now and everything is being deemed a conspiracy theory. That's right. right. Because because they're so called experts or they're so called intellectuals, they don't they don't agree and they don't put out that same information. And they don't want that information out, so therefore they're gonna come with that message. But it says the world is not secretly manipulated by global elite, which, which the people know it is, man. The people know that there's elite uh, banking families and, and yeah. trillionaire uh, banking families and business moguls and things like that. The people know mm -hmm. that these politicians and these presidents, they're just puppets, man. The people mm -hmm. know these things, bro. These, these things are e easily uh, uh, found, man. Right. You see? Right. Beautiful, just like I just said here, you know, and that, and that wicked should be revealed in his time. Mm -hmm. We are in That's his it. time right now, That's it, bro. okay, and he's being revealed on a major level right now. So, like, hey, I got a precept, hey, uh, go, go ahead, or not go ahead. if you got one well, because I was going to bring out one more article that we made mention of is that it says, uh, this is from New York Times, all right, it says Texas School District removes Bible and Anne Frank adaptation mm. back to school sweep. So, right before his school about to get started, they're 
they're removing the Bible from their libraries, man. And mm. this, is, this is here in North Texas, man, Keller ISD. All right, and this, so this isn't just one school, one individual school with 800 or 1,000 kids or whatever. No, this is a whole school district. All right, multiple schools, thousands of kids, man. Wow. You see, so they, they there's a there's a war on the truth, and the scripture even goes into how, like the Lord is gonna send these plagues. The Lord is sending a, a famine of bread, famine of water. But it tells you in Amos the eighth chapter that there's gonna be a time where, where he doesn't. It's not of that, but it's of a famine of hearing the word of the Lord. And that these people they're gonna be running to and fro to try to find it. They're gonna be they gonna try to get the message because they gonna they gonna they've heard it. Mm -hmm. Right, they're gonna know mm -hmm. that they're Israelites at that point. They're gonna want to uh, be subject unto Yahweh by Shemiah at that point in time. But, mm -hmm. but that's why the scripture says, "Seek ye the Creator early, while mm -hmm. he may be found." Mm -hmm. Because this is coming to a point in time where that that period of uh, repentance and the mm -hmm. Lord's still gonna have mercy on particular individuals, mind you. But for vast majority, uh, for vast majority of people, that's not gonna be the case, man. That's because right. the Lord extended out His hand, like like it says in Proverbs one, mm -hmm. and He mm -hmm. said, "Not at not all the counsel of the Lord, man." Yep. So therefore, when the desolation and your destruction come at this whirlwind, when all these plagues and pestilences come upon you, when your stomach is touching your back, mm -hmm. are you trying to call upon the Lord then? No, man, it don't work like that, bro. Mm -hmm. You see? Like I said, the scripture says, what, what, what the prophet's going to say? Well, because he's going to make our tongues cleave upon to the roof of our mouth, right, right. such as for death to death, such as for the sword to sword, that's right. such as for famine for famine, uh, such as for captivity for captivity. Okay. That's 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 going to be the answer in that day. And I just want to pull this uh, uh, Amos. Bob, I know you got something here. I just want to pull just a land back. He said, uh, this is Amos 8 and uh, 11. Behold, the days come and see at the Lord that I will send a famine in the land, not famine of bread nor thirst of water, but famine of hearing the word. That's right. And they shall wander from sea to sea and from even the north, even to the east. And they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and they shall not find it. And that day shall the fair virgin, the young man, faint for thirst. And that's the thirst of this truth, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you see people going to end at that point that scripture says, then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. That's right. You know? That's right. Uh, well, yeah. well uh, just, just, just going into the whole overall screen of this uh, um, uh, lesson is uh, 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 Babylon the Great, you know, receiving those plagues. Mm -hmm. Right? So, uh, and they're receiving those plagues because first, they're the ones that transgressed Yahweh Bashem Yahweh's laws. For one, they sought, sought to paint their own likeness, for one. That's right. All right. And since they did that, you have to get judged for that. Mm -hmm. So this is um, uh, the Roman Empire, but it's a mirror verse of the empire today. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is Second Ezra chapter 11, verse 41. It says, For the earth hath, hath thou not judged with truth, mm -hmm. for, uh, uh, for thou hast afflicted the meek, thou hast hurt the peaceable, Thou hast loved liars uh, and destroyed the dwelling of them that brought forth fruit and has cast down the walls of such as, as, as did thee no harm. Yep. All right. And that was uh, towards the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they are doing and are, are have have done these set things against the, the, the apple of the Lord's eye. So therefore, judgment m must commence. That's right. All right. Verse um, forty-three. Uh, it says, "Therefore, in uh, thy wrongful dealings, come up unto the highest." All right. That they have come up unto you. How about Shemuel Shai? Mm. It says, "And thy pride unto the mighty." All right. It makes me think of uh, Revelation eighteen. That his, her sins have reached unto heaven. heaven. Yeah. Oh, but you got it, bro. No, 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 no. It's called while I was I was I was done. Okay. Can you read that last verse? Uh, it says it says therefore thy wrongful dealings uh, cometh up uh, to Yahweh by Shai or the 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 highest and thy pride unto the mighty. And it tells you what a, a good precept that came to mind is Sirach ten and eight. Yes. Some unrighteous it's dealings, different. injuries, and riches gotten by deceit. Mm -hmm. The kingdom it's will be translated, translated from mm -hmm. one people to, to another. another. That's right. Hey, second is just the sixth chapter. Yep, what right. is the farting yeah. center of times? Well, Esau is the end of the world. Mm -hmm. Jacob is the beginning of it to follow us. So That's right. the, the whole thing is right now we can uh, acknowledge and uh, pretty much pinpoint that Esau Edom is the self-proclaimed white man mm -hmm. through biblical prophecy, through mm -hmm. particular spiritual indicators and markers, mm -hmm. right? The, I mean, the fact that they're the richest people, that they own the central banks, that they yeah, own yeah. all these different things, that they're the face of 
of, of beauty and all mm -hmm. that. This is the narrative that they push out, right? Mm -hmm. Those are all indicators to let us know that this is it, man. And the Lord is bringing, again, these plagues. The Lord is bringing these pestilence. You got dudes with the, the dude, uh, I, I, don't, I didn't see, uh, I saw the picture, but I didn't really oh, yeah. know. Oh, it has a good, fucking good. mushroom on his nose, know, man. Lord yep. knows now. Yep. Like, come yep. on, bro. The, yeah. the Lord is, bro, those are plagues, man. Yep. These are real things. And, and as we continue to get closer and closer, as day goes by, week goes by, month goes by, as we get closer and closer to this devil trying to fulfill his enterprise, we're going to be seeing more and more of that, man. We're about to see some shit. We're about uh, to see some shit. Kind of, <laughs> on a whole other level. And that Job 9.24, you know, talking about he covered the faces of the judges thereof. It goes a lot farther than just iconoclasm, you know, than just painting, you know, painting over the judges. You know, it's hiding the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, hiding who the true men of the Lord are. Right, right. You know, who the chosen seed is. And so forth and so on. You know, as scripture says, you know, uh, uh, I was at Maccabees. They put crowns upon themselves oh, and so did... Their, their, their sons after them and evils were multiplied through the earth. That's right. See, because we were led to believe that uh, civilization started with the Greeks, right? Right, right? Nah, wickedness started with the Greeks, man. Right. Okay, and ever since they came into power, okay, which the Greek Empire, which ironically is taken out of your Bibles for a reason, okay, that's why you need the Apocrypha, you know, to be able to have that understanding. Uh, uh, um, you know, when they came into power, that's when, you know, the world, the, uh, the, the wickedness exceeded throughout the earth, man, okay? And these are people basically planted the seed and 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 and, and um, 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 started doing things that they're continuing doing right now. This is where we got the Senate houses from. You know, right. so this is how you This is how you know that at the end of the day that the, 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 the man of sin, the uh, Esau Edom, is being revealed, okay? All of his things are being exposed. He took the Apocrypha out of the Bible for a reason. One of the main reasons because it names names, okay? You know, you can read about you know, Philip of Macedonia. You can read about Alexander the Great. These are real particular men mm -hmm. in secular history, okay? So you have to, and it, and it lets you know who the wicked is, okay? It lets you know who's the righteous. That's right, that's yeah. right. So it goes a lot farther than just iconoclasm. It goes a lot farther than just painting painting over the, the faces of the judges thereof. Man, this thing goes really deep. And call Halal Yahabashim Yahashah, that he got up on that cross for us, that we were able to receive that comforter you know, back down from the right hand of the Heavenly Father that we can now expound upon these things to you, you know, through the spirit of Yahabashim Yahashah to let you know what time we're in and what you need to do to return and repent, Jake. Right? Because we are just in that time. Come on. You know? Did you have something? If not, yeah. Um, I don't know how, if you wanted to keep going or we can close out. We can close out. On yeah. One. Yeah, no, we can, we can pretty much. You know, I think the uh, the point was made. You got anything Come else? Come on. I was just going to close out with oh, this. Oh, for sure. Man. Romans chapter 13 mm. and verse 11 All right, it says and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we have believed verse 12 the night is far spent the day is at hand mm -hmm. let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light man. so at the end of the day bro hey, it will behoove you Jake's out there to repent if you come across this video take these things serious the Lord is coming with judgments man it says the Lord loveth judgment. That's right. So at the end of the day, even though we've repented, we're not exempt from these things as well, man. So we got to work out our own salvation with all fear and trembling, bro. That's right. It says that for a reason, with all fear and trembling. Like, we should be shooken up by the fact that the Lord is doing these things to people. Like, bro, I had that thought, like, a few nights ago. I was driving, and I'm like, well, I don't know. I was on my way home, I believe. And I was like, damn, bro, the Lord really fucking these people up, bro. Yeah, like, the people, people go, even just, like, little minute things, seemingly. Like, people being out of a job. Yeah, people, people, you know, things like that, bro. Like, you can be hurt very quickly, man. Yeah, yeah. You got, we got to understand that our our livelihood is in the hands of people that don't really give a fuck about us, man. That's right. So that's you know, a again, now is salvation nearer than we have believed, man. So now it is the time to wake out of sleep. At the end of the day, you brought it out, bro. Only the elect gonna get it. That's right. Only the elect gonna really repent that's and right. receive this understanding. But it will behoove you to do so, man. So that's right. Guys. And, and, and just to add on to that, you know, the times that we're living in right now, honestly, honestly, for those that are out there that have eyes to see and ears to hear, your life should be a reflection of the fear of Yahweh Yasha. Okay? The life that you live right now should be a reflection of the fear that you have for Yahweh Yasha. If, if, if not, then you might want to check yourself, man. All right? The scripture says, check yourself to see if you be in the faith. Okay. Roughly paraphrasing, man. All right? To see what manner of person that you're in right now. All right? As these things start to go forward.
all right? As Elder Apostle Gahar beautiful, beautifully named this year, 2022, the year of Yahweh Shah, the hastening of Yahweh Shah. And you can see these prophecies are hastening, God. okay? They are not slowing down. They are speeding up. They are ramping up, all right? So as the brother said, it behoove you, you know, to, tech, you know, to, to lend an ear and take a listen to what the men of the Lord are saying so you ha may have that protection and be covered in that time. Shall we got something? No, no, no. It's all called to honor. So with that, I want to give a thwata to, to to my brother, beautiful, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He came through, you know, that we do a lesson. Shapal here, and the other beautiful brother, uh, uh, the Shah, you know, came through. We are the, you know, Michael uh, uh, Yazraila of the GMS Dallas camp, you know, and we pray that this lesson was edifying. Onto the sheet, we want to say, call Halal Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, 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 Bahash